What's up guys, I'm Dan Jung. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you my push workout focusing to improve my strength on my shoulders. This was my actual workout I did a few days ago and I'll be explaining what kind of exercise I did and why I did those exercises. So my main focus of today's workout was a bent arm push, especially the handstand push-up. I first warmed up with a single handstand push-up, focusing on keeping my body as straight as I can. Then followed by doing two reps shortly after. A lot of people say that my workout is too hard and I don't expect you to copy the exact same exercises. Make sure you choose the right progression for you. If the handstand push-up is too difficult, you can always step down to pike push-ups or wall handstand push-ups. There's so many options. This was my first main set. I did two reps of handstand push-ups, then I did a slow negative. I could have probably gone for three reps for each set, but that would have come with some compromise with my form. So I would rather stick with a better form by focused on slow negatives and the, each negative was around 7 seconds. I have a tendency to slightly arch at my lumbar spine on the way up, so I need to work on that to make it look cleaner next time. Next, I did some tuck clench push-ups, lightly aided by a thin bend. With this one, the focus is keeping my hips in line with my shoulders. It's really easy to drop the hips as you get more tired, so be aware of that. Because my main goal nowadays is the handstand push-up, I tend to train that first and then I work on my clench push-ups later. Make sure you put your priority exercise in the beginning of your session to ensure that you're not too tired to train and go for more quality session. I generally do not advise people to use too thick of a bend, but choose a bend that only assists you just a little bit. My next exercise was the bent arm handstand hold. I've been experimenting with this exercise to improve my strength at the hardest part of the handstand push-up, which is when my arms are bent about 90 degree angle. This exercise is extremely intense and I tend to count too quick in my head. So I normally put a timer next to me to make sure that I'm not under training. This exercise is so much harder than it looks and if you don't have the freestanding handstand balance just yet, you could try with your feet against the wall as well. This was supposed to be the end of training, but I felt really great on this day. So I decided to squeeze two more sets of hands and push up negatives. If you feel great, don't be afraid to train a little bit more. Don't try to train more all the time because that is not necessarily always a good thing, but why not when you feel great? I try to lower down about 7 seconds for each rep, really trying hard to fight the arch on my back. And there you have it. Let me know if you're interested to see my other workouts. I made a similar video on pulling workout recently, so be sure to check that one out as well if you haven't. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.